The Palatine Hill is where it all started for Rome. This is the hill to which the Romans say Romulus founded the city on April 21st, 753 BC. The Palatine Hill has a rich storied past and you can see a lot of it as you explore the hill still today. So starting at the very beginning, you do see the remains of post holes from huts dating to the time of Romulus and even before. For the Republican period, you can see the remains of some houses that were buried and ultimately found in excavations in modern times. You can see some Republican temples, especially the temple of Magna Mater and two temples dedicated to Victoria. Moving into the imperial period, you can see the remains of the House of Augustus. You can see the remains of the Temple of Apollo next door. And over time, you get the progression and the construction of the Domus structures of other emperors, namely the Domus Tiberiana and the Domus of Domitian. And this is the sprawling complex that really dominates your experience as you walk through the Palatine Hill today. After the abandonment and decline of the structures and it becomes mostly a pile of ruins stripped of material, you jump forward to the Renaissance times. And that's where on one side you have the sprawling garden complex of the Farnese family. And on the other side, you have the vineyards of the Barberini family and two churches. That really into the 20th century that you get full scale excavations taking place and those excavations are continuing today.